Hi, this is a promotional video for our work titled Areas Predictable Traffic Engineering Under Controversial Failures in SD1s. My name is Song Shi, and I'm currently a PhD student at Hong Kong U. And this is a joint work with the researchers from Beijing Institute of Technology. So here is the background of our work. We know that popular modern cloud services bring emerging new web applications, for example, web services, video streaming, web AR and VR, and tactical internet, which could be deployed for tenants to meet various QoS requirements. You know, these web services account for a large share of one traffic. So by introducing SDN into one, we can realize the flexible management of one traffic. So we know that traffic engineering, TE for short, can improve the network performance of ones and enable differentiable QoS for numerous web applications. So TE can be implemented at the SDN controller, enabling it to be responsive promptly to traffic changes by leveraging a global network view. But here is a problem. So due to the power outages and malicious attacks, controller failures may happen and will undermine flexible network management. So switches previously controlled by the field controllers may become offline and flows traversing these offline switches also become offline and fail to be rerouted to accommodate potential traffic variation. So here is the example of the controller failures to the network performance. So in this work, we propose areas, which is a predictable traffic engineering and their controller failures. So here is four main steps of areas. So first, it will collect uh, real-time traffic traces from the network periodically. So then it updates the current network status with the required information during the controller failures. For example, so how many controller failed and uh, what about the traffic metrics in the network? And then after determining the flow controller reassignment and flow rerouting policies, areas will reassign those offline flows to other active controllers to be, let them become online again and update the rerouting policies to the network to further improve the network performance.